Last summer, I decided to solo travel around Europe for 35 days, and this is that story. Pit stop here in Lake Como, Italy, on our way to Venice. Here to just grab a quick bite. I kind of wish we had a little bit more time here because I don't know, just look at it. It's so pretty. But yeah, I'm excited to be in Italy. And Miss Kennedy will be doing all of my translations. Ciao. <laughs> After we made it to Venice, we checked into our hotel, got changed, and then went to a dinner at a family winery. Ciao! After all that, we were a little wine drunk and we ended up getting invited into this 18 year old's birthday party on our way out. Our guided sightseeing through Venice brought us to a Venetian glass factory. The art of glass making in Venice dates back to the 8th century. These glass blowers have developed and perfected their techniques over the centuries, passing down their skills through generations. Venetian glass is known for its vibrant colors, intricate patterns, and delicate shapes. The unique aesthetics of Venetian glass make it instantly recognizable. There were so many beautiful pieces to pick from and it was hard to make a decision, but I ended up picking this adorable rainbow penguin and an hourglass. So you may be wondering who all these people are with me on my solo trip through Europe. I signed up solo on EF Ultimate Break's 35 day Ultimate Europe trip. It's really been the best experience I could have asked for and I'm so excited to continue traveling with EF. If you're interested, you can book your trip through the link below and get an extra $100 off. All right, we just took our little ferry ride to the Burano Islands. Look at these houses. They're so cute. Our guide told us that apparently everyone here repaints their houses every two years, and you don't get to pick the color. Apparently, you get like a selection to pick from. 
But yeah, we're gonna go have some food and then spend some time exploring and then head back to Venice. <laughs> Girano was originally a fishing village and the houses were painted in vibrant colors so fishermen could identify their homes in the thick fog of the lagoon. Now Burano is renowned for their intricate lace making, a skill passed down through generations. Burano was definitely a major highlight in Venice for me. With all of the vibrant houses, beautiful scenery, and hidden gems, I strongly recommend booking a day trip out there to explore. Today's adventure through Italy begins as we say goodbye to the enchanting canals of Venice and hop on our bus headed to Florence. By the time we arrived, it was time for lunch and our tour director recommended us a local gem that's famous for its Florentine T-bone steaks. Yes, it was definitely a splurge and probably our most expensive meal of the trip, but trust me, the delicious steak and the impeccable service made it a culinary experience to remember. With stomachs full, we regrouped for a walking tour with a local guide. Our first stop was the Basilica of Santa Croce, a stunning example of 14th century Italian Gothic architecture. Our walk continued and the next stop was the historic Piazza della Signoria, an open air museum surrounded by sculptures, including a replica of Michelangelo's David. This square has witnessed centuries of political and cultural events and it served as the political center of Florence since the Middle Ages. I really enjoyed walking around this piazza and looking at all of the different sculptures. Our walk then led us to the enchanting Ponte Vecchio, Florence's famous medieval bridge. It was so much fun walking across the bridge and the views of the river were also incredible. Our tour wrapped up in the heart of Florence's religious and civic life, the Piazza del Duomo. The Florence Cathedral with its distinctive dome was designed by Brunelleschi in 1296. The adjacent baptistry and Giotto's Campanile complete this trio of architectural gems, telling a story of faith, innovation, and artistic brilliance that defines Florence's timeless charm. This was definitely my favorite part of our walking tour. I absolutely loved looking around at the Duomo and all of the intricate design that went into it. Kennedy and I decided to enjoy the rest of our day in front of the Duomo. We sat down at one of the local restaurants, sipped on some Ugo spritzes and enjoyed the sunset painting it shades of pink and gold across the cathedral. All right, hello and good morning from here in Pisa, Italy. Today we are here at the Leaning Tower of Pisa, just taking a quick stroll around the square and then heading back to Florence for the rest of the day. I was so excited to finally be seeing the Leaning Tower of Pisa in person, and wow, it totally lived up to the hype. It's hard to pick up on camera, but even with just a 4 degree tilt, I was shocked at how much it leaned. The Leaning Tower of Pisa was built in the 12th century, and its unintended tilt resulted from an unstable foundation, giving it the distinct characteristics that's made it famous worldwide. The whole area around the tower buzzed with energy as all of the visitors, including myself, were striking that classic pose, pretending to push or hold up the tower in any creative way for that quintessential snapshot. Today it was time to hop back on our bus and head to the capital of Italy, Rome. Quick little lunch stop here in Orvieto, and then we continue the journey on to Rome. Perched high on top of a volcanic hill, Orvieto is a charming medieval town and makes the perfect day trip from Rome. It was getting late by the time we made it to Rome, so we went out for some dinner and then it was time to get some rest for what I didn't know would be one of my favorite days of the entire trip. Yeah, we did. Good evening here from Roma. Roma. We have had quite the day, not gonna lie. Lots of limoncello. <laughs> First place we went to, some little guy had a crush on Ken and gave us a free bottle of Prosecco. We and then that. Second place we went to, we got limoncello shots. Ching ching, ching ching. I did. I didn't mean to. Not paying some pies, just pies. And, and beer. beer. And here we're at the steps and we got, we got frozen. Free flowers. Italy 
Italy is really doing the most for us. It's and amazing. I absolutely love it. We really felt like we were in some kind of movie running around Rome today. Everything all day was such a fun surprise. We really had the most incredible time eating, drinking, and getting lost in the beautiful streets of Rome. Right, here we are getting ready for dinner. We have truly had quite the adventure today. I knew the Italian men here were aggressive, but I did not know the Italian men here was that aggressive. Very aggressive. But it's been a really good day. Now we're just sitting down, getting ready to eat some dinner, and then we're gonna call it night and scoot her home. Today was our last day in Rome and the biggest thing we wanted to check off our list was visiting the Colosseum. Completed in the year AD 80, this colossal amphitheater could hold 80,000 spectators who came to witness gladiator contests, animal hunts, and mock sea battles. As we walked through the iconic arches, we imagined all the spectacles that once took place here and what it must have been like to attend. The Colosseum, with its centuries-old stories etched into its stones, is a must-see for anyone exploring Rome. The sheer scale and architectural brilliance makes it an unforgettable experience, leaving us with lasting memories of this incredible city. Later that night, we met back up with the group for an epic opera dinner. What I originally thought would be a cute and relaxing dinner really turned into quite the party. We had so much fun enjoying the opera and all of the other fun entertainment that came with it. That's a wrap on Italy. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of this adventure. In the next video, we're headed to the ninth and final country on this trip, beautiful Greece. And trust me, you won't want to miss it. Please feel free to drop any questions in the comments below and let me know if there's any place major that I missed that I'll have to go back for one day. And if you missed my last video where I spent an amazing 48 hours in Switzerland, you can watch that one right over here. See you in Greece.